This is regarding the short film Values for Me. Um, I really liked the opening with the the people during the pandemic and the the one scene where the two the guy and the girl have their hands up together and then the guy disappears. I don't know if he disappeared because he's quarantining and now you can't be around each other or if he ended up dying or what, but it was just an interesting I liked the effect of him disappearing like that. Um, and I loved when this young filmmaker came on and said, you want me to tell a story? I'll tell a story, basically, is what he was saying. And then when it ended, he's like, okay, can the story be done? <laughs> there was some translation off a little bit with the subtitles. Um, it took me a little longer to kind of figure out what some of the things were, like what he was actually saying. But I liked that this young filmmaker was reflecting, doing self-reflection on a pandemic where for children, it probably seemed, seemed even longer because, you know, I remember being a child and a teenager even when the time just seemed like it took longer than it, it does as an adult. And to have gone through this, you know, as a, as a kid is probably even more you know, dramatic and can affect you more, especially during your formative years. And I just thought it was a really nice that he was reflecting and then using his art to express that reflection and what he felt like his values were and if they changed or not and how he has this artistic community around him. There were things that, um, you know, I thought maybe the flow could have been a little better just on taking me along on the, on a journey. But I really liked everything individually that he did. And I really like that he did it. Um, kudos to you. Keep filmmaking. Keep putting those films out there. Um, and uh, sharing your message with the world. I liked it a lot. I liked a lot of the shots that you had in there. With the buildings and um, the, the nature. There was a shot of a tree that I really liked um, in the field. And just, you know keep expressing yourself. I think it's amazing. And I really liked watching this and I wish you the best of luck. This film is called Values for Me. This was a lovely short from the Philippines. A young man named Daniel narrates and is also in it. He discusses the values that mean a lot to him as a Filipino and as a filmmaker. This project is framed around the time of COVID. I love his descriptions of his willingness to help those in need in his community and his ideas about art and culture. Lots of good footage of the town and also shots of him in nature from many different angles and distances. Nice gentle piano soundtrack. Great message to encourage us all to tell our stories. Well done. Values for me. I thought Values for me was a really thoughtful film. Um, it was very honest. It was beautifully shot. Um, but it was, it was more of like a, a slice of life. I don't know if that's the right word, but it was the filmmaker was just capturing where he was in that moment and the thoughts and feelings and opinions that he had surrounding his himself, his identity, his uh, artistry, and the world and community at large. Um, I think that he had some really beautiful insights and just, yeah, captured an honest view of like, what does life look like uh, in this like COVID world? And how can we still create art? Um, maybe not in spite of it, but perhaps because of it. And where can we find opportunities to do that? Where can we look for the hidden stories? Um, I just, I, I really liked his, his musings. And um, yeah, I thought this was a great little film. Hi, this is my comments on values for me. I really love this filmmaker's like meta, like meta-ish approach to uh, documentary filmmaking because it's an artful display of their own process while filming their process. Um, and I think that the documentary, uh, the doc, the creator did a really great job of showcasing um, their culture 
and the way that it informs their filmmaking style, but also the way that their activism within their community informs their filmmaking style, both um, as a narrative, but also in the way that it was shot. Um, they did a really great job picking um, angles to showcase themselves. I love the shot where they're at the desk and the use of light in that way, but also the shots where they're going through the street and the sort of grayscale with pops of color. I think that all of that is really striking to the eye. I think they also picked a really great score to underscore this because it was both melancholy, but it had like swells of, of emotion and swells of triumph, which I think also paired really well. Uh, with the narrative. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed watching it and I'm excited to see what else uh, the Filipino, um, this Filipino creator has uh, to, to bring to the, to the filmmaking world, but also just their perspective and their take. This ship is for values for me. Uh, this film is made by a, by a young Filipino artist who explores the pandemic effects on him and his surroundings. He chooses beautiful scenery on his local neighborhood and I think he wrote a powerful script with very vulnerable moments and yeah, the scenery is beautiful. He chooses the right lighting, the right time to film and it's just very short but quite deep and I had a great time. Values for me is shows is a story that is something I probably wouldn't have thought to do or many other filmmakers but this guy did um, following the journey of a Filipino v filmmaker especially during COVID where you weren't really allowed to work was a interesting story to learn he still found ways to make himself useful to feel good about himself to continue to work it's fully narrated which is interesting for a documentary because normally you can talk to other people. And he showed us his life through narration and what he does and how this particular guy was able to still do his work, still find a reason to live during a difficult time. When many artists were struggling with mental health, he showed how to persevere and continue working for your goals.